my baby just took her first steps. Come on, do it, come see mama. You guys. Come on. early it is like 6 30 here right now we are getting ready to go back to kansas city and so i'm trying to start waking the kids up a little bit earlier each day so that hopefully the time change difference isn't as big of a deal when we get home because it's time to get ready to go home we're going to spend the day packing and cleaning and kind of getting things in order for us when we arrive back in kansas city so this morning i'm going to yoga at the beach i'm really excited about it it looks a little crowded though so hopefully i get a spot So while Kendra is doing yoga, we are playing at a nearby park. <laughs> yeah, this can be our house. We're making a house, an underground house. Oh, like if a villain is trying to Yes, we'll just jump in. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Your fort's getting bigger. I know. See how good the other set is? It looks great. <laughs> it looks great, buddy. All right. It was amazing to do yoga, feeling the sun and the breeze and hearing the ocean and the seagulls. It was beautiful. I kind of wish I could bottle up all these feelings and save them for when I get back to Kansas City because I know it's going to be cold and I'm going to be wanting to experience this again. Can you help me clean up? We're going to tour this down so that we can take it home. So we actually still have a couple days until we leave for Missouri, but we wanted to start getting everything ready so it wasn't super stressful on our last day or two here. Does it have instructions? All right, we found some folding instructions. Put your right hand over your left hand. Oils come together that will <laughs> allowing frame to form a coil. Put your right hand under your left hand, and this will form. <laughs> <laughs> but you got an extra one. That's the one I always have still hanging out. Like I can get it except for that last little one. You don't want to break it. Oh, it's a daisies. <laughs> together, put your right hand under your left hand. I tried that. Oh, I you still have some hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> what? I did it. How? I, I honestly don't know. We're just gonna. You meant to. Pretend that was on purpose. Good job. Okay, open it up. Easy peasy. So all Janae wants to do this morning is walk. She wants us to hold her hands and walk her around. All the kids are taking turns and she is going to town. And she'll be whining. And then once we do this, she's like, let's see what happens. Come on, step. do it. Come see mama. You guys. Come on. That's our girl. Oh, 
my baby just took her first steps and I'm feeling all emotional about it because I don't think I'm ready for her to be so grown up and big. I feel like I'm trying so hard to cherish all these little milestones with her and they're so precious and it's fun to enjoy them as a family and I'm so proud of her, like she's so happy about it. She's been wanting and wanting to walk. So I'm excited to see her progress but I know that soon she's gonna be running and keeping up with the big kids and I'm just like, where's, where's my little baby? She's growing up. I feel like that sounds so cliche, but having had several kids and seeing how quickly they grow up, I feel like I get more sentimental each time. Like, it's just going by so quickly. They're pretty soon gonna all be grown up and out of the house and I'm gonna be all alone with Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy's pretty cool, I'll take it. I love you. So he just finished. Percy Jackson. What'd you think? I loved it. How would you compare it to some of the other books you've read? Well, I think it starts kind of like Wonder, and then it ends like Star Wars-ish, mixed with Greek gods. So kind of fantasy? Uh-huh. Would you recommend it? Yes, I'd recommend it for people that are like my age or older. Do you want to read the next one? I'm going to. It's already on hold. Kendra, Checked it out from the library, but first we had to pay our library fines of over $35. Apparently we didn't get all of the books back to the library before we left to San Diego. Yummy! What flavor did you pick? Pineapple. Awesome. What flavor did you do? Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Here we go. Like, Yummy! Flora is this lychee cream. What flavor did you do? Lime cream. Okay, so I ended up getting what's called a flight here, and it's where you can get several different flavors on little cones. They're so cute! And yes, this is Jeremy. Yeah, so I got a peanut butter Snickers, an ube, coconut, banana, macadamia nut, black cherry, chocolate, something, something, sorbet and toasted coconut. Let's just say that it's a good thing we didn't discover this place at the beginning of our trip. What flavor is that? Brown sugar. <laughs> she really went for that. <laughs> <laughs> our current favorite to listen to in the car is the Annie soundtrack. So you gotta hang on to tomorrow. We're up in Oceanside walking along the pier. definitely the longest pier I've walked out on and it's just amazing to be so far out into the ocean to look back on the shore and it's just really peaceful and calm out here it's beautiful so how do you think they built a pier how do you come all the way out into the ocean and make a pier I have no idea. we're gonna have to look it up scuba divers out here as always Janae is happy to see any dogs and birds here comes another bird Janae look <laughs> Oh, it's all gone. Ah, <laughs> Glad Laura's not eating a granola bar right now. Yeah. yeah. She'll never eat a granola bar again. <laughs> Traumatized <laughs> on your for shoulders. life. <laughs> <laughs> Janae is cheering for the surfers. <laughs> Janae, can you clap again? Clap. Yay! Yay! I'm so glad we made it down to the pier during sunset. 
and it's going to be beautiful tonight. Good night, to yourself. <laughs>